Man United vs Brentford, five things to expect. We'll be talking injuries, um, predicted team result, Brentford threat, and much, much more. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Number one, United bounce back. United had a decent display last time out against Brentford. Uh, sorry, against Aston Villa. It was a nil-nil, but I think the fact, under the way that we were, it was good coming out with the point. Now, we must bounce back in this game. Brentford, yes, they're a team on form. They can score goals. They've got some very, very good players to play compact, high press. But listen, this should be a bounce back game for United. It's, we've had two weeks off. We've got players returning. Yes, we've also got players out. But we've got players returning. Masrawi, um, Garnacho, Ahmad, they're all available. Mounts look like he's he needs a couple of weeks. But listen, it's disappointing that Colby Manu's out injured. But United need to bounce back. You look at the way Brentford play, and I'll talk about their threats in a moment. United have got to be very, very careful with the way that we play. But ultimately, we've got to go for it. We haven't scored... In our last five, in our last four league games, like that is embarrassing. So we must go out, prove a statement, and ultimately go out and get that win. But yeah, we really need to go out, prove a statement, get a win. It's going to be tough, but we need to bounce back because otherwise, I think Brentford will punish us, and they will. They have got that inner sort of top mentality where they can do that. And United, where we look fragile at moments, Brentford will look to exploit that. So. It's going to be a tough game, but I'm hoping it can be a United bounce back. You look at some of the players that we have, we, we should be going into this game. And it seems like we're saying the same old stuff every game for United. But our worst league start, listen, we need to start try winning games so we can get that top four sort of balance back on track. Because that's where United should be. And we should be in and around those regions. So, listen, Ten Hag's still staying at the club for the moment. He, he is giving confidence for the club that he is the man to take us forward. So we have to trust, believe in that process. Um, I kind of take it from now. I know many people disagree. I'm still kind of really on the fence with Ten Hag, but let's see what happens. With the first thing to expect, I'm hoping a United bounce back. The second thing, Brentford's threat. Let's talk about him. Bravo, in some great form. Times card as well in that midfield. They like to go wide, put crosses in, and that's going to be a constant threat. United haven't been good at dealing with crosses this season, defensively as well. With second ball we haven't been the greatest at doing that either so i think we have got to be very very careful with the way that we go into this game brentford are a team full of confidence they can score really goals and that is probably their threat the fact that they can score goals early as i talked about in the preview when united do concede early it will massively change the trajectory of the game for us that ultimately is a bad thing for us I think going forward, we need to be much more clinical um, with our chances. But you look at Brentford's threat, as I said, they play 3-5-2. They like to use the four-backs, use the three midfielders. And the pace of Bremu, and who, who also who, who else plays with him up front? I think it's Carvalho who started their last game. That They are compact. They can score goals. And we have got to be very, very careful. We know what happened in one of Ten Hag's first game. And they smoked us 4-0. With the way that United have been playing, it could very well happen again. So that's the second thing to expect. Brentford's threats, they will be on it and they will make it tough for Manchester United. Thomas Frank is coming to Old Trafford to win. The third thing to expect, changes from Manchester United. I expect there to be changes from Ten Hag. There's certain players out injured. Cobby Manu, Harry Maguire, they were out for a couple of weeks, which are very disappointing. Both cases as well. Like Maguire, he, was, he had a very good game against Villa last time. He got injured. He'll be out for a few weeks. Um, it's disappointing because I actually would have started him in this game. Manu, one of our best midfielders in terms of interceptions, tackling. Like one of the best midfielders in the in the league so far, based on stats this season. He's been a key player for us, but we've got to let him rest and recover. He's got an injury, um, and let's see what happens after that. But I'm sure Manu will be a big player for us for this season. But we have to trust um, and hope that when he comes back from this injury, he'll be bigger bigger and better and yeah more important than ever because that midfield I am worried about it without Cobby Rainey in it I don't think it has the legs the energy in there you look at the players that we have to pick from we've got Ericsson Casemiro Ugarte like not much to be honest with you and I think Cobby Rainey offers a very very good balance in there so in terms of other changes defensively I think you could see maybe obviously with Masrari being fit he probably will start so you could see defensive changes there you could see maybe the lit play like there, there will be variations in there into midfield as i just talked about there attacking wise would you see hoyland come in for xerxes ten hog or it's been reported that ten hog wants to use xerxes as his main number nine so there could be something that happens there but yeah the first thing to expect is changes now the fourth thing it's not really what i expect it's what we i want from this game i want to see 
a fight from United. The last few games have been not great. We've we've lost some, we've drawn some, like not really been a great start. You want to see United care about this club. If we can see a vision, we can see the players are fighting, we can see the players care. We're going to be less harsh than what we currently are, and ultimately that's what I think we need to do. We need to the players need to show that they care, put put like their body on the line. And just simple, just play football. It's not that difficult to do the right things correctly. Don't concede goals early. Don't make sloppy mistakes. And I think we will come out. It sounds simple, but it's what United have struggled to do so much this season. And Ted Hag has got a lot wrong. Yes, injuries, we've had that. But so has many teams. So, yeah, we must do that. Now, the fifth and final thing to result. What do I think the result would be? Brentford are on form. United, not in greatest form. I think Brentford will score first and they will score early. But I'm hoping, I went 1-1 in my preview. I'm going to stick with 1-1. That's my score predictions. Let me know yours in the comments. These have been the five things to expect. Let me know if you did enjoy. Comment, subscribe if you are new. Come on, United, man. We need we need another win. We can't afford to lose any more games. Yes, we will lose games. I know that. But Brentford is a game we should be winning. And the biggest thing that I've talked about Brentford do not fear Manchester United. They are not scared going into this game. And that's the sad reality. The team just to fear United. Now it's United that is scared of other teams. But listen, let me know your thoughts. These have been the five things to expect. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like, We want to hit 2.5k by the end of the year. Um, that would be absolutely amazing if we can do that. Just keep subscribing, share the video, like the video. Put your score predictions in the comments. Let's see what happens, man. Big, big few weeks for Manchester United going forward. Peace.